Je hapa Nairobi ni kwamba macho yote yanaelekezwa katika mahakama ya upeo ambapo kesi ya uchaguzi wa urais inasubiriwa kwa hamu baada ya juma moja la kuwasilishwa kwa viapamiliki vya kesi idara ya mahakama ikisema kila kitu kitayari kwa kikao cha kupanga kesi kitakachotarajiwa hapo kesho kabla ya kesi kuanza rasmi kusikilizwa mwandishi wetu Zuya Walter ana taarifa mengi zaidi kutoka mahakama ya upeo kwa siku saba tangu Jumatatu iliyopita mawakili wamekuwa katika harakati za kuwasilisha stakabadhi katika kesi zilizowasilishwa za kupinga matokeo ya uchaguzi wa rais mteule William Ruto na leo ilikuwa siku ya mwisho kufanya hivyo idara ya mahakama ikisema imejiandaa na iko tayari kwa kesi hii We are going to have um, the hearings happen here at the Milimani ceremonial hall all the seven judges are expected to participate remember in the last Uh, season we only had uh, six judges participating this time round we expect all of them to be present ikiwa ni siku ya nane tangu kesi kuwasilishwa hapo kesho majaji saba wa mahakama ya upeo wataandaa kikao cha kwanza pamoja na mawakili katika kesi hizo majaji hao ni jaji mkuu Martha Koome na itakuwa mara yake ya kwanza kusimamia kesi ya aina hii ya uchaguzi mkuu naibu jaji mkuu Filomena Mwilu alijiunga na mahakama ya upeo mwaka 2016 na alikuwa miongoni mwa majaji waliosikiza kesi ya mwaka 2017 Jaji Muhammad Ibrahim alijiunga na mahakama hii mwaka 2012 alisikiza kesi ya mwaka 2013 ila hakuwepo katika kesi ya mwaka 2017 Jaji Dr. Smoking Wanjala alijiunga na mahakama ya upeo mwaka 2012 na alikuwa miongoni mwa majaji waliosikiza kesi za mwaka 2013 na 2017 za kupinga matokeo ya uchaguzi wa urais. Jaji Njoki Ndungu amehudumu kwenye mahakama hii kwa muda na itakuwa mara ya tatu kwake kusikiza kesi ya aina hii. Naye jaji Isaac Lenaola alikuwa miongoni mwa majaji wa mahakama ya upeo waliosikiza kesi ya kubatilisha uchaguzi wa urais mwaka 2013 na saba Jaji William Ouko alijiunga na mahakama ya upeo mwaka 2021 na nasikiza kesi ya aina hii kwa mara ya kwanza. Ana Madi akisema kwamba kila pande usika ni mawakili wanne tu watakao ruhusiwa ndani ya ukumbi huo huku aliyekuwa jaji mkuu wa Tanzania Muhammad Chede pamoja na waangalizi wengine wakitarajiwa kufuatilia kesi hiyo. There are those who are asking to strike out the petitions, there are some who are seeking to Uh, to be included as interested parties there are those who want to be included as amicus curiae or friends of the court there are some who are seeking different uh, orders uh, relating to the scrutiny of the the votes so these applications are being uh, considered and uh, all the rulings will be delivered to the respective parties electronically Aidha uamuzi wa maombi yote yaliyowasilishwa yatatolewa kabla ya kikao cha kesho kufanyika. Kikao cha kesho kitajadili muda utakaopewa mawakili kutoa hoja zao na kauli zao. Maswala yatakayokuwa yakiwasilishwa na iwapo kesi zote zitajumuishwa au la. We allowed only up to four lawyers. It is still being negotiated and we expecting that the guidelines will be provided anytime now. We're going to have about 11 observers we are going to have about 8 uh, law clerks and the entire legal team from the office of the chief justice kikao cha kesho kinaashiria mwanzo kusikilizwa kwa kesi hizo zinazopinga matokeo ya uchaguzi wa urais huku tarehe 5 mwezi ujao ikiwa siku ambayo tutajua mbichi na mbivu katika kesi hizo zuya walter runinga ya citizen